Hi everyone, I'm Krista from the DPW Environmental Division, and today we are going to learn about one of my favorite animals, the mysterious creature of the night, the bat, including some of the great things they do for us and our environment. While bats fly around with great speed and precision, they are in fact mammals, just like us. They are warm-blooded, drink milk from their mothers when they're born, are born from live birth and not out of an egg like a bird, and they are vertebrates or have a long spine down their back, just like us. Baby bats are raised from their mothers who teach them how to be a bat. Did you know that baby bats are called pups? Bat pups are raised in a group called a nursery roost. They hang upside down together, huddled to help keep all the pups warm and protected. Bats learn to fly once they are about three to six weeks old. Once they can fly, their mothers show them how to eat and drink water. We've made these connections that we aren't so different from bats, but take a look at this. If you hold your arm up, You'll notice that you have different bones in your arm and hand, and that we have five fingers. Now, take a look at this photo of a bat wing. The wings of a bat are really just five long fingers with a thin layer of skin stretched over those five fingers. They even have a thumb like we do. Here in Germany, we have 27 species of bats, and amazingly, 21 of those species are found on our Hohenfels and Grafenbeer training areas. This means that the habitats that bats like to live in most are found on our USCG Bavaria installations, which is a big win for animals. The bats in Germany are insect-eating bats, and they love to feast on moths, beetles, flies, and pests like mosquitoes. This bat here is called a common pipistrelle bat. And even though it's so small in size, it's very fast and can eat around 3,000 midges or small biting flies in one night alone. They use a lot of energy with that fast flying, so they need to eat a lot to replenish that energy. Some bats like to eat nectar, and they are really important for pollination of all sorts of plants, flowers, and crops of food that we like to eat. Bats are nocturnal animals, meaning they hunt for food at night and rest during the day. How do they find their food at night then? Their ears. This here is the long-eared bat, and it's not hard to see how they got their name. Bats can hear incredibly well, and they find their food using something called echolocation. Bats make high-pitched sounds that human ears are unable to hear. These sounds bounce off of objects in the bat's path, sending echoes back to the bat, sort of like if we echoed into a cavern and the sound echoed and bounced back to us. It's worth noting that for a long time, bats have gotten a bad rap, mostly from movies and shows incorrectly showing them flying into people's hair and chasing people around a room. Most famously, the story of Dracula depicts a vampire who turns into a bat form and sucks people's blood. First and foremost, let me tell you that you never have to worry about a bat sucking your blood. The majority of bats we come across here in Europe and much of the world are insect-eating bats and nectar-eating bats. There are blood-eating bats in very specific parts of the world, specifically South America, but they only like livestock blood, including sheep and cattle and they'll only ever drink about a thimbleful, which is only about as much blood as is in, in the tip of your thumb. So if bats fly around all night hunting for food, what do they do during the day? They sleep. Bats love to sleep in caves, trees, buildings, and bat houses, like we see here. Bats are excellent hiders, and many are quite small, which is why it's next to impossible for us to see them during the day. There are different varieties of bat boxes, but ultimately they always have a rough ceiling inside to make it easier for bats to hang on tightly. These are really only suitable for summer roosting as bats will find somewhere more temperature controlled when they hibernate for winter time, such as in a cave or a house attic. Hibernation is essential for bats because there's not much food available in winter time and their heart rate slows down so much that they can rest even when the temperatures drop into freezing temperatures outside. If you come home to find a bat in your home, don't panic, especially in spring and fall when bats are out of hibernation and the nights can remain pretty cool. We suggest closing all doors and windows overnight or after working hours, as it is possible for bats to find their way inside buildings. If you wanna leave windows open or tilted at your home or in your sleeping room, make sure they have tightly closing insect screens. If you find live or dead bats in your workplace or residence, please do not touch or disturb the animals. 
Give live bats a chance to escape where in the evening, turn the lights off in the room, open a window and close it when it's completely dark outside or when the bats have left to forage for the night. Report bats in your home or workplace to the DPW Environmental Division or contact DPW Customer Service and we'll link to those numbers in the video description. Keep in mind that bats are protected in Germany and bats won't try to come after you. Just remember that they're still wild animals and to keep your distance. Hanging up your own bat house and telling your friends and family how cool bats are are just a couple of the things we can do to help bats. Check out the fun and informative links we'll be posting in the comments of this video and I hope you've enjoyed learning all about bats as much as I have enjoyed getting to tell you all about them. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.